What is going on, guys? Opulent Vision Road to Sub 20, episode 19. Now, we don't have a ton of questions for today, so I'm going to try to extend the ones we've got here. But if you got any questions for next week, go ahead and leave those in the comments. Also, check away the huge giveaway going on in the description of this video. We're giving away a 21 by 21 biggest cubing giveaway in the history of YouTube. Go ahead, check it out because you don't want to miss it. Wixvu comments, do you have any advice on how to be sub 20? Because I'm trying to be sub 20 as well. I don't have, I guess, the most valuable advice because I am still working on becoming sub 20 myself. Even though I'm not sub 20, I know the steps I need to take to get there. Um, and for me, it's just finishing learning PLL and then finishing learning OLL. I've learned a lot of tips from you guys in the comments critiquing my solves about, you know, not turning the top layer during PLL, still working on that. Um, and then just to learn all the algorithms and then variations of F2L. Um, so you guys have helped me a lot. So honestly, Wixvu, if you go back and look at the comments of my old videos on this series, I'm sure you'll find a ton of helpful information from my subscribers that, you know, will help you get to sub 20. Gary Nguyen says, do you do cup stacking? Unless you're talking about doing my dishes, stacking the cups, and then putting away in my cupboard, I do not do any other cup stacking besides that. So I am sorry to disappoint, but that is all the cup stacking I do. Rafa Kuber says, will you do a room tour at some point? Absolutely. Two weeks ago, I posted, well, almost two weeks ago, I posted a vlog, um, I think it was two Saturdays ago, about uh, my new house, uh, kind of going with me through my day. And then I gave a tour of my house at the end. So if you have not seen that, go ahead, check it out. Also, I just started a vlog channel. Uh, I'll link that in the description. So also check that out. Bloxy sucks at Robox says, do you have any other hobbies? Oh man, I've got a lot of hobbies. I've got hobbies in just about everything you can think of. So besides the obvious cubing, um, I really do enjoy working out, particularly uh, muscle building, um, bodybuilding, if you call it that. Um, I just love going to the gym and exerting myself. Um, now, running, that's a different question. I do not like to run, um, just lifting weights. Um, that's what I like doing the most, but I've got a couple side hobbies like Man, I don't know if I can say this on YouTube, but I love going out to the range and shooting my pew pews. Um, I've got a few of those and I enjoy using them. Um, and besides that, I don't really have too many other hobbies. Um, I love working on my car, potentially looking on getting a second car coming here soon. So maybe that'll be another vlog, um, another story for another time in the future. But those are my main hobbies. Um, and then potentially if I get another car working on and upgrading that will definitely be another fun hobby for me. Alex Z.A. Cuber says, how did you get your sponsorship with SCS Speed Cube Shop? If you guys didn't know, I am sponsored by Speed Cube Shop. And if you use code OPULENT, um, you get 5% off and it helps me as a creator. So not a bad deal, but how did I get sponsored by them? So I think it was at about at the point where I had 10,000 subscribers and maybe like 10 or 15 million shorts views on my channel. Uh, I actually reached out to SCS as, at their uh, email. They have like a sponsorship email um, and they were excited to have me on the team. So I went ahead, took their offer and joined the team. Now I've heard a lot of people are trying to join them um, and not being very, not having good luck in joining their team. They do have a lot of people who are already uh, sponsored. And so it doesn't leave a lot of room for new people to join, unfortunately. Um, but I think the requirements are that you have to have over a thousand views on every single one of your long form videos or over 10 million shorts views. And then with that, I think it's like you have to have 5,000 subscribers on YouTube or something like that. Again, I don't know because I don't work at Speedcube Shop. I'm just one of their sponsorees, I think is the word for that. Um, but if you are looking for a sponsorship, just aim for that. 5,000 subscribers and then 10 to 15 million shorts views or a thousand views on all of your long form videos. Not too terribly hard, but if you're a starting channel, it may be a little bit of time before you can actually get sponsored. Next question coming in from Boat 
Will you ever do any other type of videos than cubing? Um, yes, and I've done them before on other channels. Um, however, this cube channel is directed solely to the hobby of cubing. Um, and that's why I started my second channel for vlogs because that's something I want to kind of go into that world and, you know, kind of share my life with people. But this platform, Opulent Vision, isn't the best place to do that on um, since it's a big cubing community and not everyone wants to see vlog content. So yes, go ahead, guys. Again, I can't tell you enough. If you want to see my life, if you want to see vlogs, go ahead, and join my vlog channel um, in the description. Helps me out a ton if you guys subscribe. Appreciate it. Uh, that one cuber 025 says, how can I get better at one hand? Uh, grow bigger hands. No, I'm just kidding. Um, actually, that is something that helped me. I used to do one handed solves like way back when I was a kid and I was so slow. I was like getting three minute solves. Um, and then nowadays I can do it in around a minute uh, with no big trouble. Um, and I'm not good at one hand at all. I've maybe solved a one handed cube maybe 50 times in my life ever. I don't practice that, um, but I do enjoy it from time to time. So I guess the only thing you can really do is practice and learn finger tricks. If you already know how to solve the cube, it shouldn't be that big of a deal to um, incorporate new things into your solves like that. With that being said, the challenge of today's video is that I'm gonna solve a cube one-handed. So I appreciate you for that question because now I was inspired to do that. Cubing with Andy asks, are you color neutral? Even if you aren't, you could become dual neutral with a white cross and yellow cross, which would improve your times. Um, I am partially color neutral. Um, I say partially because I don't get like my best solve times like let's say i solve on the blue side the solve will probably be two or three seconds longer than normal um so i'm not completely color neutral i am partially um i am dual neutral for sure and there was one or two solves in this set i think it was the set that i did um solve on the yellow side down or cross on the yellow side or whatever you guys want to call it um so i am dual neutral for sure partially color neutral, um, but maybe that's something I work towards in the future with this channel. Justin Cow, do you like running? Uh, I kind of answered that earlier. Not really. Um, I do cardio. I just don't enjoy doing running as cardio. I just don't find enjoyment in it like other people tell me I should. Uh, the runner's high or whatever. I've never really got that. I still think that's a myth. So user WT Eli it looks like it says Eli. Um, he says, what do you average on four by four and five by five? Um, I don't typically solve four by four and five by five, but for the four by four, I solve it in around one minute and 30 seconds. Again, I don't really practice that at all. Um, and five by five is just over two minutes. It's about like two minutes, 15 seconds is my typical uh, soft time on that. So I'm not horrible. I still use the beginner's method, but I've still got a lot of room for improvement. And here you see me scrambling the cube to go ahead and do my one handed solve as our little challenge for the day. Um, but with that being said, I am out of questions. Um, so again, if you guys have a lot of questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. They can be literally anything more than happy to answer them in these episodes. But I appreciate you guys for watching. Go ahead, enjoy the rest of the, my sub one, one-handed solve, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.